Citizen support is needed at the border for what many are calling an immigration crisis. But now we're going to head on out to Austin, Texas, where Fox 7 Austin's John Krinjak is joining us live this morning. John, good morning. We're hearing that the state is going to expand a vaccine distribution, but there might be backlog and other issues happening, especially there at the Capitol. Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, there's uh, a new group essentially that's uh, now eligible to get the vaccine starting today. Texas, we had group 1A, 1B, and now 1C, which will include, include rather uh, Texans ages 50 to 64. Obviously, in addition to older folks who had been uh, eligible before, as well as uh, people like healthcare workers, school workers, uh, and people with underlying medical conditions. So obviously, that's good news, at least on paper, that folks uh, age 50 and up will now be eligible and certainly in, in parts of the state uh, they'll probably be able to get those shots today they'll be eligible today they'll be able to get the shots today because there's enough supply in certain parts of the state but yeah right here in austin yeah the capital of texas uh there's a big supply problem going on right now specifically uh through the austin public health system we're told that there are about 250,000 people uh in austin uh, in, in the Austin area who've signed up through that Austin Public Health portal that, uh, that are essentially a backlog from the old, uh, the old groups, the uh, groups 1A and 1B, so those older people, uh, healthcare workers and the like, uh, that those people have not been vaccinated yet and they've been in the system, some of them for months. Uh, so the idea is that Austin Public Health feels like they need to prioritize these people, make sure they get vaccinated uh, so that folks uh, 50 and up will follow behind them. But a lot of people obviously really frustrated about that, uh, given that they're now eligible and essentially they can't get their shot. And there is kind of a technology issue compounding all of this. Uh, Austin Public Health obviously saying the primary issue is supply. They just need more vaccines. Uh, they're supposed to get 12,000 doses of the vaccine today, but obviously that doesn't even put a dent in that 250,000 number. Uh, but the other issue uh, is technology. Apparently uh, the web site uh, is not calibrated or the software it needs to be retweaked uh, in order to prioritize the vaccine among these three groups. And that's kind of leaving a lot of folks scratching their heads like why wasn't this thought of before. Uh, and Austin Public Health, in fact, says it could be weeks before people can even sign up. People in that new group um, of people 50 to 64 can even sign up for the vaccine. Uh, on a statewide level, the supply issue largely has stemmed from, at least in part, uh, the fact that, that uh, Texas was allocated vaccines based on some old census numbers and officials are estimating that about one and a half million Texans have been gypped out of a vaccine so far uh, just because the number of doses sent here have been based on that old population information but here in Texas uh, excuse me here in Austin uh, it's obviously more than that uh, as again we're looking at a, a, a backlog of 250,000 people from these old groups that need to be vaccinated before uh, folks 50 enough uh, can really get access to them. So uh, certainly some good news statewide, but really frustrating news here, here in the Austin area. Yeah, John, you brought up a, a good point there with the census. A lot of people wonder all the time. We always say it's so important. It's so important. Fill it out, do the census. But you wonder about when issues may yeah. arise. And this is one of them. This is, yeah, this is absolutely one of them. Um, and when you talk about a million and a half people, that is a lot of people who, you know, theoretically could have been vaccinated by now uh, that have not yet been vaccinated. Uh, so certainly, certainly a frustrating issue. State health officials say they're looking to hopefully get uh, allocations going forward to be tied to more recent numbers or at least estimates uh, rather than feeling like there are you know not 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 as many uh, doses coming here per capita as maybe there are to other states all right fox 7 austin's john Krinjak joining us live again this morning thank you so much good to be with you taking a live look now everybody at x-rad radar showing you current weather conditions